So I wasn't able to work on the car this week, but my buddy Mike was able to continue working on the motor at his house, which I greatly appreciate. He was able to put the, the timing chain tensioner in the LQ4 block. LQ4 blocks do not come with that from the factory. So you have to drill and tap a hole and then bolt the factory tensioner uh, bracket there. And that way it's nice and squared away. Anyway, here's a little video about that, all the parts and all the stuff I use. I'll put a link down in the description. I'm sorry I haven't been doing that. It's gonna be in this one. Have a great day, check it out. Woo! If you have an older Gen 3 iron block, you'll notice a lot of them don't have the holes drilled for the timing damper. So say you're building a pretty decent horsepower engine and you want to add that, that can be done pretty simply with an ICT template, which gives you the two holes here to drill the block for the damper. Now different blocks have different thicknesses. This one already has a crank installed. Uh, everything's new, so you don't want to drill through the block. You have to be really careful. Um, you don't want metal shavings uh, going inside. Now you will need an Allen key socket to put the ICT template on, but these are the tools and the parts that you'll need to be able to do this. You have a drill bit kit here. Now this one was a uh, drill bit tap kit. This is the timing damper. A bunch of different companies sell this, but here's your bolts that go through. They're pretty long. So when you're drilling, you have to be sure that you're not going to go all the way through the block. Different blocks have different thicknesses right in here. So now this block had probably a hair over an inch, maybe an inch and a hundred thousandths. Um, iron blocks generally are about an inch. Aluminum blocks are a little more thin, I found. Also, the aluminum blocks, a lot of them are drilled all the way through. So, and there are some differences, you know, of course, Gen 3 versus Gen 4 block. So what I do is I take a bolt and I put a mark on it right here. And that's kind of a depth gauge. I will take on a drill bit and put a piece of tape that gives me an approximate, but I will check periodically as I'm drilling, careful not to punch through the block and dump a bunch of shavings down inside. And then of course I just use a tap. So, It's pretty simple. It is some work. You're going to have at least an hour to two minutes trying to get that drilled and get the depth in the iron block. It's not soft. So once you get those drilled, then you're going to be ready to tap. All right. Once you've got your holes drilled and you've measured and measured to make sure you have the right depth without pushing through, and hitting this crank throw <clears throat> and dropping a bunch of metal shavings off into the block. Uh, you're all set. And then what you do is you take your tap here. And this is a, an 8 millimeter 1.25 tap. And you carefully start it in your holes. And work it back and forth, back and forth. Till you get it worked in there okay. Cut your threads. You're going to have to back it out clean. You're going to have to blow the hole out. I would highly recommend using some tap oil or a lubricant on your tap. And that will keep the uh, friction down to a minimum. And the, the cutting action will work better for you. Plus it will pull shavings out. So you get the two holes tapped. Now, a lot of these kits come with the bolts, and these bolts are long. Now, this is a GM set. Here's an aftermarket, and those bolts are quite long. Some of these blocks are, like I said, drilled all the way through. <clears throat> So uh, the bolts are going to be longer. Now on this one here, 
You just set it right up, get your thread started. Before you put this in, I'd recommend, recommend using Loctite Blue. So get a good amount of Loctite Blue on the bolts and then thread it in and you're set to put in your uh, cam, timing chain, and gear. Hey, so that's a wrap for the video. Hope you really liked it. Hope it showed you exactly what you need to do to be able to do this to your block. And, and if it is, you know, hit that sm smash that like button so I know that people are like this video, that people are using it. That it's actually helpful. I'm trying to make helpful content, stuff that I'm doing on my car so I know I, I like it and I hope everybody else uses it. You know, some of this stuff is very unique to cars, so there's very small people watching it. But for the people who do, I hope you appreciate it. Hey, thanks for following SOB Garage.